All right, guys, before I show you the playground and all that, look what weirdness happened over here when I was not paying attention to the breeding. Look how many little babies this is. I don't even know, like, look how long it's going to take me just to catch all of the, we. I guess we're going to have to wait until they are mature and then start quick trading them I'm guessing they just went plum crazy over here I was building on the I don't even remember what I was building on and all of a sudden you know I was kind of like it was late one night I was about to just I was kind of just going around looking at stuff that I needed to get done or stuff I knew I needed to to get done that I had put off like this bridge and sometimes I'll come down and I'll just like you know zoom around and just look at different things I might have you know might have just uh, been putting off for a while and then I look down here and I see like a hundred little Gario babies and they're so stinking cute but not like 40 of them at one time so uh yeah that is uh that's kind of what i am going to be dealing with uh probably this weekend waiting for them to mature and then uh and then trying to scoop them up and get them out of here because uh we cannot take care of this many i don't believe <laughs> look at the moms just walking by like hey kids uh look this the dad over here he ain't having none of it his head's just over here in the grass He's like, keep them away from me. <laughs> They're out here like, damn. <laughs> but anyways, so we'll get, uh, we'll, we'll just have to, we'll deal with it. But anyways, um, over here, I've got to show you our new little adventure playground area. And let me, let me make sure I give a, let me make sure I do the proper shout out here. For my, I built the rock wall, but once I saw this adorable giant anteater playground, Vila Gibert's workshop, giant anteater playground. When I saw that on here, well, see the thing is, when I got done with the rock climbing wall, um, well, maybe not even done yet, but just kind of, you know, when I've got the gist of it here. I was like, I'm missing something. This whole area is still empty. And then kind of looking around, I had subscribed to this piece a long, long time ago. And I just never, um, just never, never got around to finding a good place for it. Well, once I come across it again, after building this rock climbing wall, I knew that this had to this had to go. I mean, look, look at the, like you got the slide up here, but also look down here. They've got like a little cave slide. So see when you, when you're up here, you can decide which one to go down, down into the cave or the outside one. And this person just did an absolutely insanely good job like I even I, I, I kind of want to ex I, I want to expand on this and maybe like even do like another offshoot out here and maybe just kind of use this area as like an adventure type area is what I was telling people on Instagram and Twitter and um, reddit you know you guys probably saw it on there I uh, I, I just kind of wanted to break up the animals a little bit over on this side and I thought how perfect would it be to have like an adventure course or a rock climbing wall so you can see all I've done to get the actual pegs I've just used the large bamboo pieces and just sunk them into the rock so I know the course may like these courses probably don't make you know too much sense but maybe we can look at it as like you're not running the blue course or the red course you're just like using whatever you can to try to get up to the top and I even have I started out was thinking like maybe these could be 
safety ropes. But people on Reddit were like, well, also sometimes mixed in with rock climbing walls, uh, the, the, they have the actual ropes too that people can choose to use to help them and they can use both. So that's what I thought was cool too. I'm like, well, let's just do, we'll do a set of ropes on that as well. And then somebody said, you know, the only thing you're missing, you need some mats in case people start slipping or falling back. So we put like some air cushions down here on the ground. Another thing I think I'm missing is for people waiting their turn, they would probably be burning up right there. So I need like a little awning or a little cover, a little cloth cover right there, I think. So we'll just kind of We'll still play with this area. There's a lot of a lot of fixing up I have to do. And another cool thing about the Anteater Playground is it is the background to the actual Anteater exhibit. So we've got our giant Anteaters over here and the kids can actually, I've got the little path, like once, you know, obviously they can't really play, but in our imaginations, they're playing on this. Um, they could even run over here to the edge of the wall and look down on the Anteaters. So you are essentially um, playing with these guys as you're making your way, um, you know, into the playground over here into the adventure area. And I think, look at that, it's got the tongue sticking out. That's the end of the slide here. Um, or actually, that looks like something maybe you climb up the tongue using that rope. That's cool. But, um, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, even after just filming the cinematics and stuff, I think it would be cool to kind of expand on some, uh, some maybe rope bridges out here and adventure courses like that. Maybe raise the terrain over here and maybe put some, uh, maybe some kind of primate um, exhibit where you walk over them as far as the uh, as far as the course goes but yeah that is kind of what I'm thinking about this area and I thought it was just really really cool that we were also able to incorporate the uh, the giant anteaters over here right in amongst the playground area so that is kind of what I'm rolling with on that um, let's see, what else? Do, there's not, I didn't get a big, big chance to work on a bunch of this this week, but of course, like you guys know, that's what Saturdays are for. I'm going to get a lot more building done, uh, tomorrow and Sunday. A lot of undisturbed, uh, just building time, just in-game time, so... Um, I know some of you guys get nervous when you see the the back to back to back uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption videos dropping, but truth be told, those are just a lot easier to record um, than than building new sections of the zoo. This stuff really takes time. Where um, with Red Dead Redemption Two, we're kind of just letting the story play out, and uh, and the developers and the designers have kind of already done all the work for me. So, anyways, guys, kind of a shorter episode today. I just wanted to get in and let you see this adventure. Course course and kind of what we're messing with over here and of course like always um get your thoughts and feedback kind of like all on what's going on and and the uh and the progress of suyana zoo and don't forget i know a lot of you guys were saying you had a little bit of trouble with episode eight um as far as that episode but downloading and getting it on the workshop so we'll do a brand new save like we always do so just don't forget to look down in the comment section um, you will see it as Suyana Zoo episode 9 progress um, and so the good thing is we haven't added a lot from episode 8 comparing to 9 so you won't be really missing a whole lot uh, and you will gain the, uh, you'll gain the adventure section that started over here. So I don't know how taxing this, uh, this zoo is getting on your computers and stuff yet, but hopefully you're still, uh, hopefully you're still able to enjoy it a little bit and, uh, and you're still able to get in here and kind of play around with me and, and just see the zoo on your own time and in full detail. Um, and I, you know, that's, that's another thing I think is just really, really cool about, uh, plopping these on the workshop as we go so but anyways guys I'll go ahead and let you get on out of here and I will I will quit babbling along and uh, Yeah, just let me know how you're feeling Sianna zoo if you're still liking this series Don't forget to smash that like button if you're up enjoying this video and don't forget to uh, follow me on Instagram too And you will not have to just wait for these videos once or twice a week um, I typically post the Instagram progress pictures usually once or twice a day. Plus you get my goofy stories of real life and real life pictures and, and you guys can kind of step into my, uh, 
to my uh, to my weirdness a little bit. So, anyways, guys, yeah, I'm S. Stan Wolf. As always, thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thank you. See you.